according to them, the sacrifice has to be the divine sacrifice. God has to die. Because as according to their theology, Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day, and that has been made possible thanks to you guys because you keep on giving us many things to react to we reacting, we learning and we enjoying making these videos and I hope you guys are enjoying as well. Other than that, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can hit there, subscribe and enjoy the comment, the content that's there. If you want to see a video there, let us know and we'll actually do it for you. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse and we've got some amazing conversations. I really enjoyed doing podcasts, so head there and enjoy the fun or enjoy whatever we've put out so far if there's anything that you guys want us to talk about our relationship uh the situation in the world um anything fun and young let us know and we'll be more than glad to cover it we also have a patreon where you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate and but also appreciating our 14k subscribers are very very grateful thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for those that are still yet to subscribe thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for watching i think i'm repeating myself but thank you very much um yeah so as you can tell from the title today i'll be reacting by something that you guys suggested today we'll be reacting to did god die on the cross abdul abdul <laughs> Rahim <laughs> Green and thank you for suggesting this I have no idea what it's about but I'm excited to be reacting to it so without wasting time let's get into the video without wasting time let's get into the video on it however if we're going to talk about the theology of Pauline Trinitarian Christianity and if their claim is as of course, it's a big problem. It's a big problem to say that Isa is Allah. If you say Jesus is God, and then Jesus died on the cross, most Muslims will say, well, so what? God died? If Jesus was God, and Jesus died on the cross, so did God die? Can you kill God? No, you can't kill God. God is ever living. By definition, you can't kill something that lives forever you can't kill God so the Christian what does the Christian have to say the Christian has to say no it wasn't the God bit of Jesus that was killed it was the man bit of Jesus that was killed so his body died but his spirit which is the spirit which is God didn't die however there's a big problem there and the big problem theologically is it is God that has to die God has to die. For salvation to work, according to their doctrine, a human being can't die. God has to die. Because according to them, the sacrifice has to be the divine sacrifice. God has to die. Because as according to their theology, the normal sacrifices are not good anymore. You know, the Jews, as Muslims do, used to sacrifice lambs, you know, to expiate for the sins and so on and so forth. And they, as their theology goes, God does not not interested in that anymore. God is not interested in their sacrifices and their burnt offerings. And this didn't work. People weren't following the law. They weren't being able to do it. So God needed to, to sacrifice himself. And he had to sacrifice himself because only God is the Savior. No man can be the Savior. Only God can be the Savior. So if a Christian was to claim that it was the body that died and not God, then in fact their whole theology falls on its face and then you can't achieve salvation. It has to be God that dies because only God is the Savior. And this is a well-known theological problem in Christianity. Okay, and this is why they even go and they say it's a mystery because it has to be a mystery because how can you explain that God dies when the Bible says God is ever living and he never dies? Okay, in the book of Job it says I am God, not man. 
And it goes on to explain that why is he God? Because men die and God doesn't die. So it's a big, big problem. Very interesting. Again, such videos that have so much information that you're interested in or that just intrigue or catch your attention uh, always end up being shot. Um, he's asking some very valid questions. Why would God die? Christians or whoever believes God died, ask yourselves, why would God die? Why does God have to die? He could have just anyway this is just something else because then i'm thinking he could have just left the body if he didn't want to be if he just wanted to leave earth or whatever the case is there's so many ways that you never understand like he said it's a mystery so i don't know but otherwise the questions that people ask concerning why god has to die really have there are really some valid points so Otherwise, I enjoyed listening to this. If there's a longer version of this, comment the link below and we'll appreciate. Make sure to give this, let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.